Gail, why did you pick this place? Sarah Nelson. She's, uh, she's a stalwart uh, entrepreneur, uh, woman who got into the business a uh, long time ago to make great beer. And it's like a farm to table beer almost. It's like fresh hops is what I hear. Fresh hops from Eastern Washington. And, uh, and let's have a sip because this is a release. Today is the release of this beer. So let's try it. All right, socially distanced drinks. Totally great. That's good. Yeah. What makes you want to make this jump to Secretary of State? The 2016 elections, uh, when we were warned that the Russians were interfering in October 2016, we got the warning, uh, every state did. I said our Secretary of State had just not done enough to address the nature of the threat that was coming at us for the 2020 elections. And you say all that not as your Port of Seattle or state legislative experience, but it's because of your experience in the defense. Before, I, you know, I, uh, in, in one way or another, I've been working on national security and intelligence issues my entire career, but I started in the Cold War as an intelligence analyst at the Pentagon. So I was fighting Russia before it was Russia, when it was the USSR still. And, and you know, Chris, those experiences of understanding the scale of the threat from an adversary on our democracy, this is where my experience and my skills are needed the most right now. So admittedly, I haven't been a county auditor, uh, unlike your opponent. So what do you think needs to be changed? How do you make vote by mail more secure? The Office of the Secretary of State has changed. Uh, we need a leader there who understands the technology of elections, the risk to our election systems and networks and, and the voter data. I know that your opponent has made the argument that when they did a review of the, the election in 2018, there were only 142 irregularities out of more than 3 million votes. So from her perspective, it's a secure system and, and it's a system that's operating and functioning correctly. You know, Microsoft just gave us the report that the Russians are interfering again. It's sophisticated. They are attacking emails. They are attacking the voter data files. And it's not the paper ballot that is the risk. It's everything that surrounds the carrying of the vote. Your opponent has also tried to distance herself from President Trump, you know, disagreeing with him on on vote by mail. Her inability to actually say that Trump is interfering in the elections because of his attacks on the Postal Service is really kind of curious to me. It is 2020, it is the first time in 43 years of voting for me that we have had both a foreign attack happening and a domestic attack happening on our elections and our democracy. You just used a lot of words. Um, I'm gonna give you a chance for a drink oh, break. Oh, very if you need nice. It. Fremont Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> you have an interesting perspective being in the state legislature. The the presidential primary. Yeah. And I heard from both sides. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to check a box saying I'm a Republican or a Democrat. Why can't I check a box that says I'm an independent? Doesn't that lead to potential fraud? And so my objective would always be talk to people about the design of the ballot before you make the decision to design it the way that she did. So thank you for sharing a socially distanced drink. And with me. a new release for a new day.